In the opening scene of the movie, two teenagers Gary Wallace and Wyatt Donnelly are humiliated by senior bullies Ian and Max for staring at their cheerleader girlfriends Deb and Hilly. Rejected and disappointed at their direction in life and wanting more, Gary convinces Wyatt that they need a boost of popularity in order to get their crushes away from Ian and Max. Alone for the weekend with Wyatt's parents gone, Gary is inspired by the 1931 classic Frankenstein to create a virtual woman using Wyatt's computer, infusing her with everything they can conceive to make the perfect dream woman. The only problem with Gary's idea is why its power supply doesn't have enough capacity to create an artificial intelligence like the one they want. Having no other choice, they hack into a power plant to get what they need. Everything goes perfectly as planned and to end their game, they do a silly ritual with bras on their heads and a doll as a body for their perfect woman. When they hit the button to activate her, everything starts to get out of control. Appliances start to run by themselves. There are fires because of the overload of energy and even gravity starts to fail. By the time, Gary and Wyatt notice that they try to disconnect the computer in which they fail. Later they try to break it but the rod used for that ends up breaking. When it finally seems that everything is over, the door of the room explodes and behind the red cloud appears their creation, a beautiful and intelligent woman with unlimited magical powers. The first thing they do with this girl is fulfill one of their greatest fantasies which is to shower with her even though they have their clothes on. This woman, whom they named Lisa is fully aware that they are her creators and hence listens to them with everything. The boys also try to pretend they are more mature sure although they are not very good at it. After that, they put on suits that change color when they walk through the door of the room. Lisa then conjures up a Cadillac to take the boys to a dive bar in Chicago, and using her powers, she creates fake IDs for them and manipulates people into believing Gary and Wyatt are of age. At first, they are a little scared, but after a couple of drinks, they relax and don't stop talking to people in the bar. Later, Lisa tells the guys it's time to leave and asks Wyatt to drive the car back home. When they arrive home drunk, they run into Chet, Wyatt's mean older brother, who extorts money from him to buy his silence. They now have to find a way to hide Lisa from his brother Chet. Wyatt successfully does it by diverting Chet by showing him the drunken Gary. After leaving Gary in the room, Wyatt goes to find Lisa. When he finds her, Lisa teaches him how to kiss and Wyatt has his first kiss. The next morning, they wake up wondering if everything that happened was real or just a dream they shared. As they both come to the conclusion that it was just a dream, Lisa calls them down for breakfast. Realizing everything that happened was real, Wyatt comes down wearing Lisa's underwear. But Lisa soon goes inside and hides as soon as Chet shows up. Chet blackmails Wyatt about the underwear he is wearing, but Wyatt buys his silence for a couple of dollars. Later that day, Gary and Wyatt go to a mall to buy Lisa some perfume. Meanwhile, Lisa is in a lingerie store looking for the best thing to be with some minor boys. After purchasing the perfume, Gary and Wyatt wait for Lisa at the entrance. But right above them are the two bullies, Ian and Max, with the girls Gary and Wyatt like. Thinking that it is funny, Ian and Max pour ice on Gary and Wyatt in front of the crowd. Everyone laughs at the act, but the two girls Deb and Hilly aren't too amused by that and they leave. While this group was leaving, they cross paths with Lisa and are completely flipped out by her beauty. Ian and Max wouldn't even hesitate to go after her for a conversation. Lisa is not interested in them and cuts them off telling them she is waiting for her ride. As soon as she says that, Gary shows up in a car and shows them how he can kiss her. Before leaving Lisa tells them there is going to be a party at Wyatt's house, although she hadn't informed Wyatt about the party. Back at the house, Wyatt tries to convince convince Lisa that he can't do that because of his parents and it would get him in big trouble. All that doesn't matter to her because she thinks this is the only way they can be popular and meet other girls. Besides, she is very excited because she has to go pick up Gary and she is going to meet his parents for the first time. At Gary's house, he tries to convince his parents Lisa is an exchange student and that's why she looks older. Gary also tells him they are only going to watch a movie. However, Lisa ruins everything by telling them the truth about Wyatt's party, causing his parents to start scolding him because they cannot believe anything Gary is telling them. His father also shouts at Lisa and tells them he is going to call the police. But Lisa takes up a gun and points it at him to let Gary out. In the car, Lisa reveals the gun to be a fake and when she pulls the trigger, water comes out of the barrel. And just like she promised, Gary's parents don't remember what happened. After reaching Wyatt's house, they prepare everything with the hope that only a few people would come to the party because they have informed only a few. However, to their surprise, they see hundreds of teenagers showing up to the party as soon as they open the door. This makes Wyatt feel feel scared and immediately runs to the bathroom with Gary. After a while, Deb and Hilly knock on the bathroom door because they wanted to touch up their makeup. Gary and Wyatt come out and try having a conversation with them. A few minutes later, they think that they could try something with the girls and if it doesn't work, they can go back to Lisa. But when they sneak through the bathroom, they find two different girls in there and they leave. Meanwhile, Lisa is having a conversation with Ian and Max, both constantly trying to sleep with her. However, she is very loyal to her creators. On the way, she meets Deb and Hilly and encourages 
encourages them to talk with the boys. Meanwhile, somewhere in the city, Wyatt's grandparents are dining and just remember that their grandson is alone tonight. Hence, they decide to visit him. At the party, things continue the same with the only difference being that Ian and Max are forcing the boys to share Lisa. When they say no, the bullies propose to exchange Lisa for the other two girls. After hearing that, the boys reveal to them the secret of Lisa and agree to create a new girl for them. Gary and Wyatt do the procedure again, except few changes as they need it. The moment they press the button, like before, everything starts to get out of control. Lisa quickly realizes this because inside the house a lot of strange things are happening like appearing inside the TV, flying out of the chimney naked, and the kitchen turning into blue. When everything ends, a shadow of the woman appears. At first, they think it is the new girl, but to their surprise it's Lisa. Lisa scolds them that they are idiots to create another girl, and on top of that she also informs them that they forgot to put the doll. When the boys checked, Lisa was right and instead of a doll, the plug was touching a missile on the magazine. Before even completely realizing the mistake, a huge missile pops out from the ground, breaking the floor underneath. Things get even worse when Wyatt's grandparents arrive and see everything happening at the house. But Lisa takes care of the old people and leaves them frozen and locked in a closet in the kitchen. Then Lisa comes up with the idea of creating some strange bikers to invade the house. But when the boys see them, they run and hide in the wardrobe. Lisa finds them and encourages the boy to become brave and kick the bikers out of the house. But the boys decide to stay alive rather than face them, no matter how hard they try to hide. One of those bikers breaks through the wall and forces them out of there. The bikers ask them how could losers like them could throw a party with so many guests. But the boys play along and do nothing, as they are scared to death. But when the bikers grab the girls, Gary and Wyatt-like, they gather all their courage and use the tactic Lisa used with Gary's parents. Seeing the gun pointing at them, the bikers leave the house and before leaving they even apologize for the disturbance caused. The people at the party are impressed by what they did and the boys enjoy that moment. After the party, Deb and Hilly stay with the boys and have a good romantic conversation. The next day morning, Chet arrives and sees the big mess in his house. Totally angry, he rushes in to find his brother and give him what he deserves. But first, he finds Gary with the girl and the only thing he does is beat them both. He then finds Wyatt and starts beating him. Wyatt then introduces Chet to Lisa, who is in the kitchen making breakfast. Lisa explains everything to Chet, but for him, it's just a farce and he doesn't believe her until he sees his grandparents frozen in the closet. Lisa then sends the boys to drop off the girls while she makes sure Chet keeps his mouth shut. On the way, Gary will have a couple of problems like overspeeding and his parents seeing him, but he loses both of them and arrives at his girlfriend's house. There he opens up to her that he is not a very interesting guy and he doesn't have any friends other than Wyatt, but she doesn't care because she is already in love with him and they kiss. On the other hand, Wyatt leaves his girl at her house and they also have a goodbye kiss. Meanwhile, Lisa turns Chet into a slimy monster and forces him not to tell anything to anyone. She also demands Chet to behave nicely to Gary and Wyatt. As soon as the boys come home, slimy monster Chet apologizes for being rude to them all these years. The boys then find Lisa and tell her about their new girlfriends. Lisa congratulates them and tells them it's time for her to leave because they already managed to be with girls of their own age. After an emotional farewell, Lisa disappears into the smoke and also with her powers, she brings the entire house into order just before Wyatt's parents arrive. Later, Lisa shows up as the new gym teacher at Gary and Wyatt's high school, showing that her mission to watch out for the two boys continues. Thank you for watching. It may be easy for you to like and subscribe, but it means the world to us. Please subscribe for more movie recaps.